Juan Kelly's, Michael, Crab Meat Tapas. And this is a, um, a dish, it's kind of like one of those little bites, tapas mean little bites, um, from Spain. And it has some wonderful, wonderful flavors in there. Around the holidays, or if you're going to have a party, because you can put little plates of these around, or you can pass them around while the, while the party's gone. Now I'm going to give you the basic recipe, but... Like I said, we can go in any direction that we want. Hey, Buzz, we have the cutting board around here. All right, what I'm gonna, we're, we're just gonna saute this up a little bit, get these bell peppers going. And I'm gonna use some onions as well. Now, if you were of the mind and you felt so inclined, you could also get a number of different bell peppers here. You get some uh, yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, and really get a whole lot of color going. I challenge you to do an egg test with some, with some of these free-range eggs uh, from Springfield. There are a number of the other farms around here that you can get in the farmer's market. Just take them and crack one in two different bowls and look at them. One is totally pale, kind of looks tired, lifeless. And the other one has this bright, the yolk has a beautiful, bright, vibrant color. And when you cook them up, we did them side by side with the chefs and they were tasting them. All of a sudden, said, my God, this tastes like an egg. And it looks like there's hundreds of bats hanging, but they're all hams that are hanging all through this barn. It's an amazing thing. And that smoky aroma, that kind of dry, smoky aroma, it's kind of like a prosciutto. Um, or one of the hams, the Bion hams uh, from France or from Spain. So we have that right here, actually. Okay, now I'm going to take some capers, just a little bit. We'll give those a quick chop. You don't have to chop them too fine. Um, but for my organic um, artichoke farm in Parkville, uh, I'm taking some artichoke hearts because it's another great way. I mean, you still get that Mediterranean style flavor, and it's a great way to extend the dish as well. Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. Now I think we have, we're gonna give it a little squeeze of lemon juice. Most of the seeds out here. Now you could use a strainer for this if you had one. If not, you wanna pull most of the seeds out that you can see in the front. Otherwise, um, basically just have a little more roughage in the salad. <laughs> Jumbo lump, because I like it. I use jumbo lump and lump crab meat, so we have all good stuff here today. And Bonnie, she went through all the crab meat to make sure that all the shells were out. So when you have, if you have a sample or something of it and you find any shells, you're gonna have to talk to Bonnie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Now what we're doing. You just want to fold this together, okay? Just take and fold it all together. You don't want to mess up the lumps here. The crab meat, this is a very forgiving recipe. So depending who's going to be coming to your dinner party, you can use all kinds of different crab. Uh, claw meat works wonderful. Very sweet, delicious, less expensive. Great thing to, to use. Um, the back fin, wonderful. And then you could also use a combination, if you wanted to keep the cost down a little bit, you could use a little bit of claw and a little bit of lump. And then together they're going to look good, taste good, and again, you saved a little bit of money there. 
Okay. A crab soup, a vegetable crab soup. We can take that one pound or two pounds of crab meat, you make a big pot of the soup, and you're going to feed the whole family. You know, instead of with the one pound, you're only going to feed maybe three people as a main course of all protein of crab. But if you take that same one, put it in the crab soup, you're feeding six, eight people. And you got that stuff at the farmer's market, so it's good for the farmer, it's good for the neighborhood, it's good for the bay, um, it's good for your body, and it tastes good. And it's still, we're still located, and we still, it's a recipe that's definitely from the Chesapeake. So, no? In the back. Is that something you can make in advance? Is this something you can make? Absolutely. You can make this a day in advance, no problem. And actually, if you did, the flavors will pick up even a little bit more. Um, you know, as it sits there overnight, it's, it's not a bad thing to do. So this is a great, great dish to use for entertaining. Yes, ma'am. What if you mix it together but without the mayo? Could you freeze it? Get your question again so everybody can hear it, please. What if you mix it together without the mayo? Could you freeze it? And that's so you would put everything in the sautéed peppers, the yada yada. You know, I believe that you could. You could. Now, what's going to happen if you do that? Obviously, and you know that that the um, there will be a lot of moisture content pulled out of the vegetables. So when you actually defrost that again, they're going to not have the integrity that they had when you did it. Flavor-wise, it probably will be pretty good. But the best way to reduce the salt, and that's a very good point, the capers have salt as well in them, um, is to rinse them. Pour out that brine. The brine has the most salt in it. Of course, the capers will absorb that as well. But um, you can just take that out and rinse them. Put them in a colander and just rinse them under cold water if you want to reduce that salt content. And is there something else that you could put in there to... Introduce flavor. To flavor it? Yes. Absolutely. You don't need the ham at all. Some of the things that you could do to give it the same kind of a flavor or the integrity of that would be when I told you about roasting the peppers, that's going to give it a smoky flavor. Um, Neapol over uh, in, where is it? Belvedere Square. Barbara over there, she smokes all, oh, she smokes all kinds of things. <laughs> I had a hard time ever since I put it on the One, two, three. Crabs live in the Chesapeake Bay and other places too. We are glad this very great day to show the crab to you.